Pokemon TCG Live gives you access to some pretty solid free decks, and if you've just logged onto the game for the first time, you'll be taken through the tutorial with this Arcanine EX deck. You get given this for free, so today we're going to talk you through exactly how you can upgrade your Arcanine EX deck to make it that little bit more competitive on the standard ladder of Pokemon TCG Live. But first, let's talk about what makes Arcanine EX so strong. Arcanine EX, a stage 1 fire type EX Pokemon with 280 HP, has two very strong attacks. Its first, Raging Claws, for two fire energy, deals 30 damage, plus 10 more for every damage counter on this Pokemon. But for me, the more impactful attack is its second one. For three fire energy, we can use Bright Flame to deal 250 damage to our opponent's active Pokemon. We have to discard two fire energy to do this, but with a Choice Belt, we'll be dealing 280 damage to most Pokemon V, V-Star, and V-Maxes, which means we're taking big one-shots on almost every two prize Pokemon in the game. Add into that, the fact that we've also got some very useful consistency in this free deck, thanks to our 2-2 line of Barrel, its Industrious Incisors ability very good at refreshing our hand size when we have less than 5 cards in our hand, we can draw up to 5, that's very very useful to find pieces in the mid to late game, and definitely a card that we want to keep in this deck. We're also going to keep this Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go, definitely a card that's worth looking into, it's a single energy attachment in the late game to deal 250 damage. Damage. Again, add a choice belt onto that and we can deal 280 damage. Very, very strong. And thanks to its Excited Heart ability, every time your opponent takes a prize, you get that much closer to attacking for free. Now, this deck in and of itself is pretty solid, but to be brutally honest, we can make some improvements. So we're going to change it to something that looks a little bit more like this. If you'd like to copy that list down, it's in the description, by the way. And don't be afraid of all the different arts up there. I just really like Arcanine, so I changed them. So they look cool. I'm sorry. Realistically, the only changes that we've made to this list are in the Pokemon line. Lots of our supporters and trainer cards are very similar, and most of them, if not all of them, can be picked up for free, so you're not really making that big of a credit investment. The two Pokemon that are of note that we will need to craft in this deck are Armor Rouge and Entei V. Entei V is a very useful card in the early game when our Arcanine EX might be struggling to get going. Entei V, with its fleet-footed ability, will give us a little bit of extra consistency when when it's in the active, allowing us to draw a card from the top of our deck. And it's also got Burning Rondo for two fire energy, which will deal damage based on the amount of Pokemon that your opponent has in play. Now this might not take a one shot, but it definitely can put some pressure on, and for Pokemon that evolve into VMAXs or EXs with large amounts of HP, it might be the difference between a knockout and missing the KO with our Arcanine EX. We're also playing two copies of Armor Rouge in this deck, and really, this is the key piece that makes our Arcanine EX work. Armor Rouge's Fire Off ability lets you move basic fire energy from your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon however many times you like during your turn. In combination with cards like Magma Basin and Raihan, we can get a ton of fire energy into play, move them into the active to our Arcanine EX, and then start dealing huge amounts of damage. One other card to be aware of that you might need to craft is our Forest Seal Stone. We've got one copy of it here. We can attach it to our Entei Vs and search for any card in our deck. Since we have no other V-Star power, this is definitely worth investing in. It's a card that you might already have, and it's in a lot of top tier decks, so worth picking up. Ultimately, this upgrade is not going to cost you much at all. You potentially pick these cards up for about 2,000 credits, which is nothing to sneeze at considering how powerful this deck is. Like I mentioned before, if you want to pick it up, it's down in the description. Whilst you're there, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you could. Let's take it out onto the ladder though, and see if we can't get a game with Arcanine EX. Alrighty, game with Arcanine. Let's get it done. We can achieve victory with this deck. I really like Arcanine. I'm going to grab a Growlithe. I don't think it's the right choice, but I've got the EX in my hand. So let's throw it down. Plus, we've got the Entei, so we can use that to draw a card if we want. I'll attach a basic fire to the active, then fleet footed and draw a card from the top of the deck. A basic energy is fine. We've got a turn. We've got ourselves set up here. And a lone Pumpkaboo in the active is always a good sign. Um, I don't know what I'm playing against. Mesa Gosa means maybe Lugia. Like, I mean, maybe that could be what we're playing against here. Let's see. Do they flip heads? They do not. So that's always good news. Like, I don't think I've ever played against a Lugia deck where they've wanted to flip tails on Mesa Gosa. In fact, I don't think anyone ever really puts Mesa Gosa down and expects to flip tails. Lugia it is. 
And we'll see whether or not Arcanine can get a win here. I think we can do it. I think we can achieve it. Because we're up against a deck that really likes to trade uh, with two prize Pokemon. And we're going first. We've got an excellent deck, frankly. Like, I mean, I can only speak for, uh, for, for myself here. And you can see, I've, I've decided that I'm going to alt art up my Pokemon. Now, you don't have to do this when you're upgrading your Arcanine EX deck. You don't have to do it, but I've done it because I love Arcanine. Flip heads! Just to prove how bad Mesa Gosa is, we flip heads. Our opponent flips tails. Let's grab a Bidoof. And throw that onto the bench. We've got Armor Rouge. We've got Arcanine. We've got Energy as well. It's all looking pretty solid here. I'm gonna throw that Armor Rouge onto the bench and the Arcanine as well. We'll attach the Forest Seal Stone to the Entei and then research. And look at this. What a hand. We've got all the pieces. We can grab ourselves another Growlithe. It is our only other Growlithe, which is a little concerning. But our opponent doesn't have to know that. We can then throw down the Magma Basin as well. We can Magma Basin and Energy to the Arcanine, which I like. We might actually do it to the Armor Rouge, to be honest, because then we don't need to deal damage to Arcanine. I mean, maybe we want to deal damage to Arcanine. I don't know. Maybe it was worth it. Regardless, we are going to now use Burning Rondo. Actually, we've got Fleet Footed still we could use. Let's draw a card. Let's draw a card. And we can also uh, use... Actually, Entei doesn't ever get killed by Lugia, right? There's no world in which Lugia V-Star knocks an Entei out this turn. Surely we don't need to Star Alchemy this turn. We can just Burning Rondo. We can take the knockout on the Pumpkaboo and put ourselves a prize up in this matchup. And yeah, because there is no extra modifiers on Lugia V-Star, they cannot ever take a knockout on this Entei unless they attack with something other than Lugia. And I cannot expect that they will ever do that. I mean, they probably will. It's, it's likely that they will, but I'm willing to risk it. Let's put it that way. Oh my goodness, we're getting into winter over here. I'm just getting a chill in my hands. Oh boy. It's rather cool. I can I can at least put my left hand. My left hand goes in the pocket of my jumper, which, to be honest, I probably need to wash. I've been wearing this one for a while, but the right hand stays out of the mouse. Uh, it makes it cold. It's definitely, definitely not ideal, but that's okay. We'll heat it up by attacking with Arcanine EX. If you like and subscribe, you get more of that. Um... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. I'm putting. I'm gonna put out more content. I've said this a million times. I'm gonna put out more videos of me playing Pokemon cards. I'm gonna put out three a week. I'm gonna record them on the weekend so I don't have to do them during the week because I get tired during the week because I'm working a lot. I don't want to do them then, so I'm going to do them now. I'm recording these all on the same day. I just need to make sure that the gameplay footage is prepared. Just do it, Mitch. Like, it's not hard. It's not... And you're in a position, Mitch, to just put them out. Like, just put the videos out. People want to see the decks. They want to see the upgraded Arcanine. Look at how good it is on the bench. Look at it sitting there. Hand's very big. Look at it over there on the bench. It's great. Not everyone has the opportunity to do it, so I'm definitely going to from here on out. Now, hopefully, we hold on to the Magma Basin in play. If our opponent replaces the Magma Basin, we might struggle to attack next turn, to be brutally honest. Um, I mean, like I mentioned, we do have the Entei V that can attack, but we want to take as big a knockout as we can, and Arcanine EX is the way that we do that. There's huge KO potential there from Arcanine EX. Here comes the Lugia. They're going to Tempest Dive here. 200 damage, and maybe they forget to remove the Stadium? They did not. Okay, well, that was that was rude, frankly. They, they could have just left that there for us. Top decking the barrel means that none of this matters. We've got what we need, and uh, now we are in a position where pretty much, like, we've got everything that we want just sitting here in our hand. We've got a couple of Arcanines in the deck. There's a couple of supporters that we've got access to as well. Some more energy, some choice belts. There's all sorts of things going on here. So I'm pretty happy with the way that our board has set up. I like that Raihan for later. Uh, I mean, I, this is hard because normally, normally things aren't quite as easy as this. I mean... Normally things go wrong. <laughs> We've got the Arcanine that we can use to knock out a Lugia. I think though, I want to try and take a knockout with this Entei now. And uh, preferably, I want to get a knockout on the Archeops. They're going to give me the Lugia V. And you know what? I'm more than happy to take that KO. We can fire off with Armourouge. We can throw those energies onto the active Arcanine EX. And because we've got no damage on us, we can't use that first attack. But we can use Burnt Flame 
get the attack off for 250 damage, and that will be enough to get the KO on the Lugia V. We can grab ourselves another Entei V out of the deck with that Nest Ball. And uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much just in a position now where Bright Flame will take the knockout. Even if it were a V Pokemon, we would be taking the KO here. We discard two energy, and then we get two prizes. So, in a dominant position against Lugia V-Star, no real way for our opponent to knock this Arcanine EX out, frankly. There's no real way for them to take this KO. They would need to go into another attacker. Boss's orders is definitely frustrating. They get the knockout on the Entei, but now we are in a position where we can easily get a KO on the Lugia itself if we have a choice belt. Now, luckily, we have Raihan in hand, and assuming that they take this KO here, which, I mean, they obviously will. They've, they've built their entire turn around taking these two prizes. We can Raihan to the Arcanine EX, attach from hand, and use the Raihan to get the choice belt, and that will take the knockout on the Lugia V-Star and potentially put us in a position where benching a Radiant Charizard just wins the game. So, looking very, very sharp, I like the setup that we have. I'm happy with this. I think everything is actually going to go quite smoothly. I, I can't believe it. I, 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 I think we've found a recording where everything has just worked nicely and the deck is actively doing what it's supposed to do and our opponent hasn't blown up in our face and the Arcanine EX is just simply going to run over the top of the Lugia, which is great. I'm a big, big fan of that. Unfortunately, Arcanine isn't quite as good against some other decks that are going around at the moment. Single prize decks like Gardevoir or even uh, our friend Lost Box is not necessarily great, but you know what? It doesn't matter. We're not playing against those. We're playing against Lugia, and we're about to take three... Uh, two, we're about to take two prizes and put ourselves into a winning position. We can attach from the hand... I think now we're at the point where we can just bench this Radiant Charizard and put ourselves in a position to try and win. We'll Ultra Ball now, get rid of the Boobadoof and the Charcadet and grab ourselves another Arcanine EX. Uh, and then we can draw some extra cards with Barrel, which I like. It's obviously the big weakness of the deck is multiple Stage 1 Pokemon, but that's A-OK -okay by me. We can Bright Flame here for 250 damage. Plus the 30 from the Choice Belt, 280 takes the KO, no V-Guard energy activating there because obviously it's not a Pokemon V, it's a Pokemon EX. And Arcanine now in a winning position against Lugia, four prizes for them to take, it does not matter what they do this turn, as long as one of our Arcanines stays alive, we should be able to take a big KO and win the game. There's the Entei as a potential attacker. There's the Charizard as a potential attacker. The Arcanines themselves are potential attackers. We are looking like we're going to be ready to win this game this turn. It, of course, does depend on what our opponent does, but in all likelihood. Like, I, I'm going to commit to it right now. We're going to win this game. We are going to win this game. There is nothing our opponent can do to stop us. Famous last words I know, please comment down below if I've stuffed this up somehow and tell me that I said that. But I think we should be able to win. Here comes Illumineon. They're going to go for a card like Roxanne or Judge, you would think. But we've got the Barrel. Maybe they go for something else. Maybe like a boss to try and stall out the game. That might be a way to win this one for them. It's going to be very tough though because they're going to need to take a knockout eventually. And we've got all the attackers that we need in the world. There is that boss. So they're going to boss out the Armor Rouge. And maybe they're just going to take that knockout. And that would actually be very, very frustrating. Now that I mention it, it would be quite, quite bad. Um, if they were to do that, because if they knock out the Armor Rouge, then we have no way of moving our energy to and from those Arcanines, which I'm not a fan of. Here's a Primal Turbo. Will they be able to get the KO? I assume that they will. But in saying that, if they do have the knockout, all we realistically need to do is draw into a copy of our stadium and we should still be able to win. So, I mean, it's definitely possible. Here comes the speed wing from the Archeops to knock out the Armor Rouge. And this is frustrating because I was saying before, there is no way we lose. And now 
We're in a position where we could theoretically lose, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm upset by it. It's not likely that we lose, but it could happen, and that's the thing that's upsetting, frankly. That's the thing that I don't like. Oh, I wish I hadn't said it now. I wish I hadn't said it. They're powering up this Tyranitar. Oh my god, we could definitely, we could definitely lose. It's, it's really bad. It's really bad. Okay, so... Now what we need to do is we need to find the stadium. We need to find Magma Basin. We've found at least one during this game. We're going to be able to use Entei to draw with Fleet Footed. We're going to be able to use Colrus's experiment to draw some more cards if we need to. So it's going to be fine. We're going to draw into one. It's going to be okay. Don't panic, everyone. Let's not panic because there are currently three of them in the deck plus Raihan. So it's possible we draw the Raihan off the Fleet Footed as well. If we don't, that's okay. It's fine. This is fine. We're going to Colrus into it. It's gonna be okay. I don't know. Oh my god, it was right at the end. It was right at the end. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was so... That was, that was genuinely frightening. That that happened. <laughs> we could very easily have lost that one. It was the last card. It was the last card, but that's okay. We switch now, we go into the Arcanine, and we have Bright Flame for the knockout on the Archeops. And to be brutally honest, this one was never in doubt. We were always going to win. There was never any risk. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and have a way to upgrade your Arcanine EX deck. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all more for more next time. More from the Sabos. Goodbye. Farewell.